In this short tutorial, you will learn how to use Canvas assignments as a formative assessment by using the file upload option. Let's begin by looking at the assignment from the student's perspective. So we are in the student's course now. We will go to modules and notice uh, the assignment called assignment file upload. And so this is an example of how you could create an assignment using the file upload. Let's look at the instructions. Today, we continue to learn about genetics and introduce new vocabulary, including DNA, genes, alleles, genotype, heterozygous, and homozygous. Create and complete a Venn diagram like the one shown below on the differences and similarities of the terms heterozygous and homozygous. Include definitions, genotype examples, and a picture or graphic representation of each in your diagram. Turning in tips. You may choose either of the following to turn in. Drawing, if you decide to draw on paper, take a picture of your work and upload the picture. Digital, if you decide to create it digitally, just save your work to your computer and then upload it here. And then here is an example of the Venn diagram. We can even click on the video to watch a Flipgrid short explaining what I want them to do. All right, students, so I just wanna explain your diagram assignment. Uh, you will be creating a Venn diagram so that you can compare and contrast. Notice that I have the closed captions turned on and I can even use immersive reader if I need to read the text or have it transcribed to another language. Okay, so that is uh, one big benefit of creating videos in Flipgrid Shorts. So I wanted to make sure you knew that. But I included the video there for the student so that they have any questions, uh, if they need help, if, if they don't understand how to make the Venn diagram. I even gave them some tips on how to do it digitally uh, using something like Jamboard. Okay, so that is, um, this is from the student's perspective. And as the student, I'm gonna click on Submit Assignment. So I've got my instructions here. And let's say as the student, I've already completed my work. This is what I get. And I can go to choose file to upload my file. I have these other options, but for this example, we're looking at file upload. So there it is. And I actually have a screenshot of uh, the work that I've done. And so I attached it there. And I can give my teacher some comments or just submit the assignment. And there is a confetti that I have submitted successfully. I'm gonna to return to the teacher course and take a look at that same assignment as the teacher. And I wanna know who has turned it in. So I'm gonna to go to speed grader and EdTech and Design comes up as the first uh, student because EdTech and Design has already turned it in. And so let's take a look here at what has been turned in. And um, I would check to make sure that all of the things that I asked for are there and I could assess the student's work and understanding of the two terms. And then I could grade it based on their work and give the student a comment. Okay. Now notice I could also give a, a video comment as well. And let's go ahead and submit. All right. So let's take a look at how this was created. I'm going to go ahead and click edit on the assignment itself. And I just used the rich content editor to place all of this information right in there, okay? And making sure that my titles were large so that they stood out. I even put a little icon in front of the titles to help them stand out to the students. Turning in tips, so the two ways they can turn in. And then the example of the Venn diagram along with that video. 
So all of this was just built right into the rich content editor. Okay, and then this video was hyperlinked. So all I did was highlighted the text and used the hyperlink uh, option right here. And I grabbed that link from Flipgrid and placed it right there as a hyperlink. Okay, so next you can decide on points here. And um, if you're going to do complete and complete or percentage, however you want to do that. And you've got to choose online submission type. And for this example, it will be an, a file upload. And you can decide on how many attempts. Okay. And make sure to put a due date. And that's it. Then click save. Make sure it is published in, in the uh, module you want students to access. And uh, if you have any questions, please reach out to us, saic.net slash edtech. Thanks for watching.